September 1996, with both sides keen to discover where they stood in the Premiership hierarchy. Arsenal had finished fifth the previous season and intended to improve on that placing. Chelsea were under the management of new boss Rude Hullett. He'd taken over from Glenn Hoddle, who'd become England manager in the summer. Dennis Bergkamp had been in good form, scoring in the Gunners' last two wins. Arsenal manager Stuart Houston made one change from the 11 that beat Coventry in their last match. John Lukic made his first appearance since rejoining from Leeds in place of the injured David Seaman. Hullet had been quick to use his European connections, signing Gianluca Vialli, Roberto Di Matteo and Frank Leboeuf in the summer. There was one change to the team that had beaten Coventry. Craig Burley replaced Jody Morris in midfield. Chelsea's defence had yet to concede a goal in the Premier League. Your match commentator in North London is John Champion. A London derby of long standing. Arsenal versus Chelsea. Pitting north of the capital against west. And two sides with their eyes on the main prize, but who've frustratingly fallen short in recent years. For Chelsea, under Ruud Hullet, a chance to build on the work of Glenn Hoddle. Arsenal in the midst of a hiatus at the moment after the departure just before the start of the season of Bruce Rioch and Arsene Wenger the man from Grampus 8 in Japan yet to arrive here's Andy Myers for Chelsea and that's nicely done up against Lee Dixon Di Matteo now Wise these two sides have had some feisty battles down the years Here's someone who's pretty feisty, Dennis Wise, goes over the challenger, bold, and the referee points to the penalty spot. Steve Bold took man, not ball. And striding forward to spot the ball up is the Frenchman Franck Leboeuf. Signed from Strasbourg, two and a half million pounds, signed to stop goals. But he scored one already for Chelsea against Coventry. Make that two. Chelsea have a sixth minute lead in the London derby. A rash moment from Bold, punished by Franck Leboeuf. Bold. Johnson leaning in over the top of Hartson. It's a measure of how highly rated Hudson is that he's been chosen ahead of Ian Wright today. Merson over the ball. Jonsson's header. Winterburn. Steve Morrow. Back for Merson. Catching practice, really, for the Russian goalkeeper. Myers. <laughs> Given away, this is Bergkamp. Merson. Hartson with a chance! Didn't catch it at all right. He was under an increasing amount of pressure from the arrival of Petrescu, but even so, it was a good chance. Came off his knee in the end. <laughs> Ivory, sometimes compared to a library because of its lack of noise, but not tonight. Here's Bergkamp. Hartson flags up. Which didn't please the good citizens of the North Bank. Erland Johnson.
Lindigan beating off the challenge of Viali. And then Wise in ahead of Merson. And delivering a super ball for Andy Myers. Block was by Dixon. And a shot from distance from Craig Burley. Goalkeeper Lukic, I think, had the post covered. Wise. Nice flick from Viali to Burley. There's a bit of flow about Chelsea's football. Void by that early penalty. Petrescu. Wise. And the veteran Lukic across in time. Came out of the sweet spot on Wise's right boot. Roberto Di Matteo. Calls for Merson. And now Hartson. Merson. And Ray Parler goes down. Andy Myers made the challenge. Arsenal screaming for a penalty. But all they get is a shake of the head from the referee. Myers looked rather fortunate. Hartson. Steve Morrow. Merson. Takes the aerial route for Dennis Burkham, who plays keepy uppy, and then fires wide. Plenty of skill at the heart of that move, but no cutting edge to finish it off. Winterburn. Burkham. What a legacy for Bruce Riott to leave the club, Dennis Bergkamp. Winterburn. Ray Parler. Ran into traffic. And earns a free kick in a position of potential for Arsenal. of candidates to take it, whittled down to two, Bergkamp or Merson. Two Italians, a Scot and a Welshman in the Chelsea wall. Merson over the ball, Bergkamp has backed off three or four paces. Bergkamp to strike. Sets himself high standards, Dennis Bergkamp, and that fell some way below them. Parler. Burley. Studious pass for Gianluca Viali. Oh, and it's gone right through John Lukic. It's a gift of a goal for Luca Viali in Chelsea. should have been beaten at his near post. Person. This position floating behind the front two is a dangerous one for opponents. But Chelsea at two up, have a comfort zone. Two strong challenges by Parler, not enough to win the ball. Steve Clark. Petrescu is an adventurous defender. Header is palmed away. And then Viali's follow up blocked by Dixon. Hughes had the first effort.
And Chelsea looking good value for their lead. Arsenal winners of the league title ten times in their proud history. Most recently in 1991. Chelsea have won it only once under Ted Drake, former Arsenal player, in 1955. Vialli's offside. Steve Bold will take this. Bergkamp's touch for Paul Merson. Splendid goal. Arsenal back in this derby. Deft touch from Dennis Bergkamp, creating the opening for Paul Merson to drive it beyond Dimitri Karin. It's a quality goal. Arriving in the penultimate minute of this first half. Which may change the nature of the half-time discussions in both dressing rooms. Bold. In a sense, half-time's going to come at the wrong time for Arsenal. They've just got the goal back. the whistle hugely entertaining half Viali and the Burr from the spot scoring for Chelsea Merson pulling one back Arsenal one Chelsea two Winterburn goes Di Matteo Hartson's pass picked up by Wise Chelsea only 11th in the Premier League table last season with 50 points as many defeats as wins 12 of each I expect better than that after all their investment here's Hughes too high for Viali Petrescu. Wise. Back heel from Hughes. Here's Petrescu. Daylight was blocked out by the large frame of John Lukic. Short for Burley. And it took a deflection on its way behind. It is a Chelsea corner. Chelsea, who opened with a draw at Southampton, have followed that up with home victories over Middlesbrough and Coventry. And leading now at Highbury. Wise. Burley, there's Hughes. Hit Keown. Viale. quickly taken Dixon here's Merson and Ray Parla one pass too many perhaps even so Bergkamp had a good chance maybe just took his eye off it so let off for Hullet and Chelsea Myers. 
wise. Over the top for Luca Viali. Handball. Surely handball. Struck out an arm to control it. Was eventually spotted by Keith Birds, the referee from Tony Pandy. Merson. Giving chase is Winterburn. Dixon. Strong challenge from Prompt the Birth. Merson missed it. Wise didn't. He did though give it away to Parler. And he pulls down the Arsenal man. Spiky customer, Dennis Wise. One thing's for certain, you always know he's around. And he's got a yellow card for the foul on Ray Parler. Taken by Merson. Deflected on the way. That means it's a corner. So, what can Arsenal conjure at the clock end? Keown's forward for this, as you would expect. Short to Platt, and then the cross, and there is Keown! It's 2-2! Two -two. Martin Keown drifting in, if not unnoticed, then largely undefended. To finish off... Paul Merson's deep cross. It's a good game now. Clark. A a lazy touch by Viali. Bergham. Merson to the middle. And Jonsson touches it back to Karin. But Bergkamp was taken down off the ball. It's going to be a free kick for Arsenal. Bergkamp has yet to get one of these right today. That wasn't a bad effort. Still rising as it cleared the crossbar. He claims it took a deflection, and indeed it did. Hughes. Burley. Myers. Hughes dropping deep. Petrescu, the Romanian, formerly with Sheffield Wednesday, and Genoa. Dennis Wise. Had a few battles here with Wimbledon over the years. A crew challenge coming through from behind, and it's earned Chelsea a free kick. And the crowd rise as one because of activity down on the bench. Stuart Houston is sending on Ian Wright, an extra striker in place of a centre half. It's too deep. Viali will do his best. He was fouled by Lee Dixon. Oh. Do without that. Wise. Cleared the lot of them. Another Highbury full house announced in the background. 
They would love to have a stadium with twice the capacity. The two words exchanged between the two flame-haired characters out there, Jonsson and Hartson. Referee Birch wants words. You won't see either of them taking a backward step. Quarter of an hour to play. Di Matteo. Winterburn. The run for an Arsenal throw. Platt. Merson. And Hartson is flagged offside. And Arsenal with three strikers on the pitch now in Hartson and Bergkamp and Wright. A game that they want to win they beat West Ham they lost at Liverpool they won at Leicester last time out victory here would make it three wins out of four to start the season screwed awkwardly off the boot of Keogh Jonsson it's Linegan Di Matteo. Myers. Beating Parler, but not Dixon. Platt. That midfield area full of the sort of challenges you expect in derby games. All at times a little frantic. Petrescu. Claimed by Lukic. Title winner with Leeds United. Back in 1992. Is right, brushes off a defender and scores. Takes a blow in the process, but that's all in a day's work for a goal scorer. Arsenal pride themselves on having a history full of the beautiful game, not always the case under George Graham, and not the case here. It was Route One, but enough to catch Chelsea out. Dixon. Right. Another goal here would finish Chelsea off, and remember, Chelsea led 2 0. Home supporters want the whistle to go now. Heading into stoppage time. Myers. Here's Wise popping up. finish level for Chelsea and Arsenal Dennis Wise setting the example keeping going beyond the 90 minutes and driving the ball past Lukic for 3-3 and there is barely time to restart there have been plenty of dramatic meetings between these sides down the years this will go alongside the best of them. There's the whistle. And the spoils are shared. After a 3-3 draw and a thriller here at Highbury. A rousing early season encounter with Chelsea sneaking a share of the spoils. 
Arsenal's season proved to be a significant one. In September, Arsene Wenger took over as manager and guided them to third place in the league. Chelsea's fans enjoyed a campaign of glamour and sexy football under Ruud Hullet. After four Premiership seasons in the bottom half of the table, the Blues finished in sixth place in the league with an FA Cup final triumph over Middlesbrough for good measure.